Thank you for visiting, visiting this video segment for Dr. Afib. I'm Dr. Morales. Today we're going to be talking about what is your stage of atrial fibrillation. Understanding your stage of atrial fibrillation is the inherent answer to the question of why some treatments don't work sometimes or why doesn't an ablation procedure work sometimes. So understanding that atrial fibrillation is a condition of progression that goes in stages is an important feature for understanding how to get the best treatment for you for your atrial fibrillation. When I meet patients who have been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, they frequently tell me a common story. This common story means shows that the AFib progresses. They will have episodes that are frequently short or infrequent and may go several years without getting episodes. But as the years progress, the episodes become longer, the longer durations, shorter in duration between episodes. They become more common, more frequent, and more severe the episodes. Until one day, you get an episode and it stays and it doesn't want to go away. So what are the stages of atrial fibrillation? Paroxysmal atrial fibrillation is the earliest stage. It's the first stage of atrial fibrillation where the episodes come and go and typically last less than seven days for, for an episode. Persistent atrial fibrillation is defined as atrial fibrillation that has lasted over seven days. Long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation is atrial fibrillation that has been consistent and persistent for over one year. And then the final stage is what's called permanent atrial fibrillation. And that's more of a clinical decision that is made by the patient and the doctor to maintain a patient in atrial fibrillation. So why does this matter what stage people are in? As people progress in episodes of atrial fibrillation, you go from paroxysmal to persistent, the heart inherently changes. Uh, the upper chambers of the heart where the AFib comes from become more stretched and dilated. You get more scar tissue, tissue the more advanced you are in the stages of atrial fibrillation. Even the cellular connections uh, inside the upper chambers of the heart change the longer the people are in atrial fibrillation. And all of these reasons are why some treatment strategies are less successful in the advanced stages of atrial fibrillation. Ablation procedures are less successful as people become more advanced stages of atrial fibrillation because the heart is just inherently changes and it makes it a lot harder to maintain normal sinus rhythm uh, once patients are more advanced stages of atrial fibrillation. And this is the inherent reason of why I frequently recommend to patients to uh, Seek consultation with an electrophysiologist earlier in your stages of atrial fibrillation because at the earlier stages of atrial fibrillation, especially when you're still in the paroxysmal phase where the AFib episodes come and go, you're at the higher spectrum for success rate when it comes to either medical treatments or catheter ablations and will have a better long-term success treating it at earlier stages. So hopefully with this knowledge, we can get better treatment for atrial fibrillation for people to understand that this is a condition of progression and the earlier you get treatment evaluations, the earlier you become more aggressive with your atrial fibrillation, the better long-term success you'll get from it. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. Afib. I'll see you next time.